Beat Saber music packs. You either love them or hate them. I'm just joking about the last part. You better love them. But today, I'm gonna be handing out some tough love and ranking every single music pack that there is in Beat Saber. Only the ones that you have to buy though, so um, no OSTs or extras or uh. So here's the list. I'm gonna be basing the rankings on just a few factors like each music pack's environment, the mapping, and just overall uh, if they're fun to play, in my opinion. And also keep in mind that when I mention a song, I'm talking about the Expert Plus difficulty because I'm just better. Side note, this list is gonna be made on how I feel about the music packs themselves, so if you have a different opinion on where these music packs go, great for you, I don't care. Now let's get on to the tier list. Uh, this is editing coop. This video was created about a week before the one-handed version update. Either way, that update really wouldn't have changed my mind on any of my opinions in this video. And first, a message from our sponsor, me. I have merch! Just type shopsupercoop.com or use the link in the description. We got a mouse pad, t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie. I really like the hoodie. Look at the little tail. The clothes are super comfy and I hope you enjoy them just as much as I do. So make sure to get them at shopsupercoop.com onto the video. First, starting off the list, we're gonna be looking at the first ever purchasable music pack released onto Beat Saber, which is the Monster Cat Volume 1. And just thinking about this brings back so much nostalgia. Yeah, I have no nostalgia for this at all. I got Beat Saber just a few months after this music track was released, so I kinda had a few other options. And not that much money. But now since I'm a popular YouTuber, I'm just rolling in cash. Jokes aside, I did get the music pack, and I like it, but I don't really like the music. I'm not really into this style of music, um, so let's just, uh, let, let's just uh, skip that and go over to the environment instead. The environment is a little simple, but I like it. It's, it's alright, it was one of the original ones, so I mean, they were limited by what they knew. But, I mean, it's simple, I like it, it's alright. They're running off of the old lighting system, and I mean, Beat Saber was fairly new at that time. One thing I don't really like about the environment, though, is how the Monster Cat logo is basically illuminated for every single map. And it's not just the built-in maps either, it's always illuminated on every single song that you play, even custom maps. And then we have to talk about the mapping. Uh, the mapping could be better. When I was replaying some of the maps for this video, the flow for a few of them just felt so off. And I'm not saying the timing to the beat was off, the directions of the blocks just felt really weird and almost hurt my wrist to swing. There are tons of things that you can read online about how flow is like really important in Beat Saber maps, but in my opinion, I'm gonna have to give the Monster Cat a C tier. I know some people are gonna hate me for that, and like, how, how, how could you put the first purchasable music pack in C tier? I'm not sorry. Next, we have the Imagine Dragons music pack, and let me tell you, this is where the nostalgia is. I remember, it was Christmas Day, 2019. I finally got the Oculus that I was wishing for for so long, and the first music pack I got was the Imagine Dragons pack. I played on Beat Saber for hours that day. I started on hard difficulty because I'm no noob. I'm not starting on easy. And after weeks of beating, wait, after weeks of playing Beat Saber, I gradually got better and made my way up to Expert Plus. Not only did I listen to a lot of Imagine Dragons growing up, but the fact that I was able to go through so many different difficulties for the music pack and having a new experience every time was so fun. The environment for this music pack feels completely different from the ones before it. Now, I think the only thing stopping me from putting this in S tier is the mapping again. I will say the mapping had drastically improved from the Monster Cat music pack, but again, sometimes the flow just didn't feel right, so for that, I'm gonna have to put it in A tier. However, that is gonna be a high A for me. Next up, we have the Panic at the Disco music pack. And I'm just gonna say it, I am disappointed there are only four songs in this pack. I don't know why the music pack was so small, but they could have added at least two more songs and I think it would have been so much better. Let's just get out of the way, the environment I absolutely love. Keen-eyed viewers would notice that in any of my Beat Saber videos that are has been hotel related, I've always used this environment because the windows in the back remind me of the hotel. The mapping in this music pack I think is actually really good. 
There aren't really any complaints I have about the mapping. Uh, the flow felt fine, but I think it would just be wrong of me to put a music pack with only four songs in it higher or even on the same tier as the Imagine Dragons music pack. So I'm gonna have to put this in B tier. I'm not sure if that's gonna stick to a high B. It might change, but so far a solid B. Going on to the next music pack on the list is the Rocket League and Monster Cat music pack. This is the first purchasable music pack that came out with its very own color combos, the orange and blue, and might I just say, I absolutely love that combination. I'm pretty sure those are complementary colors, I think if you look that up for like a color wheel or something, those colors just generally do well together, so I like that a lot, and I mean the orange and blue for Rocket League, that's basically what the team colors are. But the color combo is not gonna save it from its ranking. I do like the environment, but I don't really like the huge car statues on the sides. I know the environment is supposed to look like a stage from Rocket League, but I'd honestly prefer to have an environment without those car statues. Keep everything else in the environment, just get rid of the statues. The mapping is good in the music pack, but again, just like the first Monster Cat music pack, I'm not a huge fan of the music, so I am going to put this music pack in C tier but just above the Monster Cat music pack. I think it did a little better than that one, but still C tier for me. Next, we have the Green Day music pack, and I have a question for anyone who has played this. Do you feel like you have to move around a lot? When I was replaying the maps on Expert Plus, I felt like I just had to move around so much. It always felt like I had to have wide swings to get to the next note. And come on, the color combination? I don't remember the colors ever being so similar when playing the music pack, but when I was playing it again for the video, the colors looked almost identical. The songs are fine, but playing through some of them on Expert Plus wasn't that fun for me. A lot of them felt slow and not fast, which is what I'm expecting for an Expert Plus map. One thing I think they did really well in the music pack though is the environment. I loved how they gave us two options, one with the hand grenade and one without the hand grenade. So you just have a city landscape. I think they should have done that with the Rocket League music pack, but we're not talking about that anymore. The music pack is okay, this was actually one of the original ones that I downloaded and played, but I do think it could have been just a little better. Um, so for that, I am going to put it in C tier again. I am going to move the Monster Cat one though. I feel like this one was just a little better than Monster Cat, but not as good as Rocket League. So I'll put you snug right in the middle. The Timbaland music pack. F tier. I'm just going to be brutally honest. I do not like the songs. The mapping for some reason went back to not having a great flow. Again, the Expert Plus songs felt slow and felt like I had to stretch my arms out a lot to hit the notes. The only thing the music pack has going for itself is the environment. I like the environment. Other than that, F tier. Now, I was actually surprised by the Linkin Park music pack. I actually really enjoyed it, and there are a decent amount of songs to choose from. The mapping is good, and it's the perfect speed for each map, which I think is rare to find. I like the idea of the environment, but I feel like there could have just been a little more added to it. Not sure what it could be, but I feel like it's definitely lacking in some detail. I remember first trying out Given Up, and I got to the end part, I had to give up. I do enjoy this music pack, but it's not one that I normally replay all the time. I might go back on occasion, but most of the time I usually play one song and then switch to other maps. This is a solid B tier, I think I'm gonna put it right in front of Panic at the Disco. It just had a lot more maps than Panic at the Disco, and overall I felt it was better. Okay, BTS. I enjoy this pack a lot. Maybe because I got a free code from Beat Saber. Thank you guys, I love you. But I was shocked to see the environment and how open it was. I love the cartoonish clouds and the colors for this pack are amazing. The mapping was great and I loved how they incorporated some of the dance moves from the actual videos into the maps. However, did they really have to add the flying characters around? I know you can get rid of them with mods and they're only flying around for a few seconds in each map, but I wish there was a way to disable them from Vanilla Beat Saber. This pack has plenty of songs to choose from, which is great. I always love it when there are a ton of songs, but this pack is going to go in a low A for me. 
If those flying characters weren't there, I would definitely rank it higher though. I was really excited when they announced the Interscope mixtape. This was a really neat idea that they were doing, and I'm glad they did that again with the electronic mixtape, which we'll get to at the end. I know they were already kind of doing this with the extras playlist, but I mean, Counting Stars, Party Rock Anthem, Sugar, this was honestly a great music pack to play. I know this might be a little hypocritical, but I do enjoy the environment. Sure, it might be like a bigger version of the Linkin Park music pack, but it's bigger and cars bump up and down. What else do you need? First S tier on the list. This is a great music pack. You all should get this. Skrillex. Huh. I have mixed feelings with this one. I never really got into dubstep, and after this, I'm still not that into dubstep. Let's get it out of the way, I think the environment is amazing. I think this was the first one that actually didn't have any lanes where the blocks come in, and that was because they were originally going to have arcs and chains for this music pack, but it wasn't ready in time. The mapping is good and the speed of the songs fit well. I just never really got into the music as much as other music packs. So I think I'm going to put this in B tier. Again, I'm going to have to put Panic at the Disco at the end with this. I mean, there are just so many more songs. So yeah, Skrillex right above Panic at the Disco. Now, we might be getting on to the most controversial one on the list. I remember when the Billie Eilish music pack came out and was announced. A lot of people were asking, oh, why was this made? And saying, none of the songs even fit with Beat Saber. To answer the question why it was made, money most likely. And my reaction to that statement is that I think they're kind of wrong. Believe me, I didn't really have high hopes for this music pack, but once I played it, I actually liked it a lot. The environment was beautiful, and I think this was the first time we actually got a glimpse into the new lighting system. And if you don't have the full music pack, I think you should at least try and give it a chance. Just maybe get one song, play it out, and see what you think after that. Don't give any harsh opinions about it before even playing it. There might have been some songs and some parts to the songs that I feel like didn't really fit in well with Beat Saber, but I like this music pack and go back from it from time to time to play some of the maps. I'm gonna put this music pack in A tier right between Imagine Dragons and BTS. Still, honestly, Imagine Dragons I feel was a lot better. I just love the music. But I was actually really surprised about the Billie Eilish music pack. I actually like it a lot. I have a pretty crazy story for this music pack. The Lady Gaga music pack was announced at the Game Awards, and I remember them saying that the music pack was going to be released, I think, around midnight my time. And it was to be released on a school day for me. And being the awesome YouTuber that I am, I'm not going to miss out on content. So I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, bought the entire music pack, recorded every song, edited the videos together, created a thumbnail for each individual song, and uploaded it to YouTube. I had those videos releasing about every hour throughout the day, and let me tell you, I wanted to fall asleep so bad in school. This is a great music pack. The environment is amazing and I love the electricity in it, and the mapping was so good. There were plenty of interesting patterns for each individual song, and every time, the flow did not break. The movement just felt natural, and the speed of each song just fit perfectly. I do think it's criminal though how they put Edge of Glory at the bottom of the music pack. That's my favorite map in the entire music pack. The fast part is so well mapped. This is going in A tier, I'm moving the mixtape over one. You're going straight to the top of the list. I am genuinely surprised they didn't add this music pack sooner. But I'm glad they waited till arcs and chains were added, because the Fall Out Boy's music pack is my favorite. There, I said it. It's my favorite music pack they've released. The songs are so classic, the environment is huge, we finally got a concert looking environment, which I've wanted for so long, and the mapping. Oh my gosh, probably some of the best mapping I've ever played in a music pack. I honestly can't see this music pack without the arcs and chains because it is just so good. This is going straight to the top of S tier. I know I just put the Lady Gaga music pack at the top of S tier, but I mean, this is amazing. I go back to this music pack more than any others and I will continue to go back because it is so good. 
Now finally, but not least, the most recent music pack added to Beat Saber, the electronic mixtape. When this was announced with the list of songs that they were going to add to it, there were only about one or two that I could recognize just from that list. So I went on YouTube and I searched up all the songs that were in the playlist and actually found out that there were quite a lot of songs that I knew of. If you haven't already been able to tell, I don't really like this type of music. Uh, that is dubstep, like the electro style music. And I'm just going to be honest, there are some maps that I haven't even played yet. But the ones that I have played, I can say without a doubt, are so fun. My top two favorite are definitely Stay the Night and Ghosts and Stuff. And let me tell you, props to the light mappers for this music pack. Ever since the new editor came out, I've been playing around with the lighting effects on that environment, and oh my gosh, that is a lot. I really enjoy playing some of the maps on this music pack, so I am gonna put this in A tier, right between Imagine Dragons and Billie Eilish. Better than Billie Eilish, not as good as Imagine Dragons for me. So here is my completed tier list of all the purchasable music packs in Beat Saber. This took so long to play through some of the maps again to get a good understanding of them and how I feel just overall for the whole music pack. But this is how I honestly feel about the music packs and I think these are good rankings for all of them. Before the video ends, I got two questions for you guys because I actually am curious to see what you guys think about this. My first question is, what would your ranking of this tier list be? You don't have to write down every single music pack, but at least three or five I'd actually like to see. What are your top few favorite Beat Saber music packs? And my second question is, if you were able to choose three artists to have their own official Beat Saber music pack, who would they be? And I'll give you my list right here. I would absolutely love there to be an AJR music pack in Beat Saber. I actually have a video related to that coming up soon, as well as One Republic. And I also think it would be cool to have an Imagine Dragons Volume 2 music pack. They got plenty of new songs that they could choose from, and I feel like that could be really interesting to go back to. But let me know what your guys' thoughts on this are. Let me see what you guys come up with on your list, and I can't wait to see them. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!